How to Eat to Live, Book 2, by the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad. Chapter 24, Natural Food. We are often making suggestions of the various kinds of food that the earth produces for us to eat. Since the coming of the white race, they, white race, have set forth one of the greatest confusions of what foods the human family should eat. And today, everything like food is eaten by the human family. Whether this food is good for human consumption or not, it is offered in the market for us to eat. Naturally, all follow what the white race offers to us in the way of eating, clothes, shelters, and money because of their given power to rule over us for a limited time, 6,000 years. We have followed their dictation as to what we should accept and what we should reject almost to the letter for the past 6,000 years. Now, a new ruler and his way of civilization stands knocking on our door with his list of how to eat to live. In the creation of the earth, the creator caused everything to grow in the earth that would be or act as the sustainer of our lives. The natural food value of the vegetables that we go to the market and buy should not be destroyed with a lot of additions. They contain the vitamins and proteins nature put in them for us. If the experimenters and poisoners of food do not interfere, natural food will give to us natural health and beauty and prolong our lives if the poison hand of the commercializer does not touch it. None of us should suffer with sugar diabetes if we would eat natural food because the sugar in natural food is not enough to poison our blood with sugar. It is the sugar that is manufactured by the commercializers on sweets that causes the dreadful disease of sugar diabetes. All sufferers from sugar diabetes should abstain from eating sugar after they learn they are sufferers from diabetes. And they should eat the natural food that Allah has placed in the earth for us without the addition of sugar. We should cook the food the way we like it and season it with a little natural salt and natural pepper the way we like it. It is sometimes hard to get natural salt. There are several salts on the market that the commercializers on food have put before us. The best salt is the natural salt or that which the Jewish people eat and season their food with. The Jews are old settlers of the white civilization and the first guides of the white race in the natural and commercial field of foods. The Holy Quran teaches the Muslims that the food of both the followers of Moses, the Orthodox Jews, and the food of the Muslims is good for each because the foods of the two people do not vary too much. There are some weak Muslims and there are some weak Orthodox Jews, but they, Orthodox Jews, as God taught me, live more closely to the Muslim way of eating than any of the rest of the white civilization. The Jews and Muslims have always been able to settle their differences between each other 
better than Christians and Muslims. The Meccan white Muslims claim to be the first cousins to the black man through Abraham's two sons, Ishmael and Isaac. But nevertheless, among the three parties now, Muslims, Jews, and Christians, and a fourth party, Hindus, a great conflict arises and is growing to reach a bitter end if wisdom is not found to curb it. But the American Jew and the American black man may yet find some way of making a separate relationship out of the other world. Eat the natural food and do not try eating all of it at one time. Do not seek to gobble down all the refined sugars and sweets that are made from natural foods, lest you find yourself being put in a refined box that carries the dead. Do not feed your children all sorts of processed foods, such as cereals, if you can give them fresh foods. And do not give your child ready prepared food. Prepare it yourself as a mother used to do a long time ago. You are more healthy in those days than you are now. Prepare your child's food and give it to him, but do not feed it to him out of your mouth as grandmother used to do. Smile. But still, we survive from that better than we are surviving from these processed foods today. A sick mother's milk is better for her baby than a healthy cow's milk or any animal's milk. You may give your babies cow milk, but if you can breastfeed them yourself as nature intended, then you should do so. You will have a healthier baby and a baby who will love you. When a baby is nursed on cow's milk, the baby may love the cow more than he loves you. Smile. Eat good food so that you'll be able to give your baby good, pure milk. You can drink cow's milk. Your own milk glands will put it into the right stage for your child. Be careful as to what kind of drugs you take while nursing your baby. And do not take fast while you're breastfeeding an infant or even while you're pregnant. If you like, you may eat once a day while pregnant or breastfeeding your baby, but you're not forced to do so. You should not go for two or three days without eating. In answer to your questions on whole wheat cakes and muffins, yes, you may eat them, but do not eat them or any bread the same day you bake it if you can avoid doing so. Do not eat fresh, hot muffin rings and hot cakes because they are half-cooked breads. Everything in the line of breads should be thoroughly cooked. There's no such thing as stale bread. The bread you call stale bread is the bread you should eat. When children suffer from bronchial asthma or any asthmatic conditions, do not give them too much milk. Give them more fruit and juices, fresh juices, not canned juices. Adults should try to eat one meal a day. If you eat one meal every two days, three days, or five days, it is okay. But do not force children under 16 years of age to do the same. They are growing, and most of them need two meals a day. The scientists of this world, the white race, failing to gain the confidence of the people, ran a race of commercialization between each other. 
This commercializing on foods has put forbidden, divinely forbidden, and poisoned foods on the market for human consumption. Now, these poisoned foods have created another commercial field, drugs, to temporarily reduce the effect of the poisoned foods eaten by the people that they purchase from the food markets. Therefore, the health and span of good happy lives without drugs of the whole white race and the black people who are under the rule of the white race are being destroyed by the artificial and poison foods put on sale in the market, which is backed by the government and communities to be eaten by human beings for the sake of that commercialized dollar. Sugar, for instance, sweets and meats have become the greatest desired dishes of America. Food is eaten with many artificial flavors and colorings, slow death added. There is no need to draw sweets out of sugar cane and sugar beets to sweeten other foods that we eat, when by nature, all foods that we eat have some natural sugar or sweetening in them. Even meats are sweet enough for our taste and digestion. A little salt added and a little pure pepper added to make it taste hot is sufficient. The other flavors are not necessary. Fruits. Fruits are all good and best for our consumption in their natural state. Fruits should never be cooked to get the better value out of them for our health. Fruits should be eaten raw and not cooked. The drying of fruits is only for preservation so that it can be eaten later, but not with the value that it contained when it was fresh. Purchase the books, CDs, and DVDs of the life-giving teachings at store.finalcall.com. Listen to the messages of the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan 24-7 at finalcallradio.com. Watch the Nation of Islam's weekly and live broadcasts at NOI.org.